Adding plants and vegetation to your photos can do magic. Well, hello everyone. This is Parisa. Today I want to show you how I'm turning this picture into this picture by adding vegetation and plants. Today I want to create this picture only by using some other pictures and my selection tool. The basic steps to replace a specific part of your picture with another picture is to make a selection. First of all, I'm selecting this part because I want to add some grass into this selection. Then by using Ctrl J command on my keyboard, I'm creating a copy of my selection. And then it's time to bring our grass material into this file. I chose this photo to replace my grass because it has the same perspective as my original photo. And it's beyond important to choose a photo that matches your original perspective. So do not assume that any types of grass or any types of perspective can work here. So I'm adding this picture here and I have to make copy of this picture because uh, it should have the great scale for my photo. Then I'm selecting these three layers and create a clipping mask. Well, as you can see, the grass sits here perfectly. Okay, we need to fade out these lines here, so I'm merging these layers. So I can use my healing tool to fade out these lines. Okay, add a blank layer here because we want to use our brush tool to create these little grasses on the edge of this white surface. Okay, let's change the brush settings. Go to shape dynamics. By the way, I suggest you take the time and experiment with these tools, with these bars, and get the hang of it. And another perk for experimenting is that you can see for yourself which settings works best for your photo. Okay, I guess it looks perfect for my picture. Okay, someone needs to stop me. I'm really enjoying this. Okay, I'm done. Now I'm changing the blending mode into darken. Let's see the result. Yeah, I think it looks good. OK, 
Okay, I'm renaming my layers. In the main picture, we had a shadowy area here. So I want to add that shadow here on this part of this grass. If you are a perfectionist, you can select this part perfectly and then add the sh perfect shadow here. But if you're somewhat lazy like me, you can use your brush tool and make a messy black painting. Like this. And then go to filter and use a Gaussian blur on your painting and make it blurry. And then I'm going to my blending modes. I'm choosing hard light and decrease the opacity. Okay, the grass area is completely done. Now I'm selecting all the layers and create a group and name it grass. And now I want to add a background to our picture. Okay, now again I'm selecting the background area. I'm creating a copy of my selection. And adding this picture to the background. Really easy and straightforward, right? It's basically a cheat code. It already looks okay, but I want to add some more plants to the picture so it looks more natural and realistic. Okay, I'm putting this tree here. I'm putting this tree here. Now I need a plant. I'm choosing this plant or here. Yeah, it sits perfectly here. Now I'm adding a layer mask to this plant so I can remove the extra area. Okay, now I go to this tree and add a layer mask to this tree. And I'm removing the extra parts around this tree. Now I'm creating a blank layer because I want to use my grass brush again here to create some grass around this tree. Now I want to create some grass here around this tree. Now I'm changing the blending mode to overlay. Okay, I'm done adding plants to this picture.
Now it's time to adjust the colors by using adjustment tools. I'm starting with trees group. I'm adding a hue saturation layer above this group and I'm making it into a clipping mask because I want it to only affect trees, not anything else. I'm decreasing the saturation of the trees. Okay, I think that's good. Then I'm adding a hue saturation layer above my foreground grass uh, group and I'm decreasing the hue and saturation. And at last, I'm creating a hue saturation layer above my background. And then again, I'm decreasing the hue and saturation. For the last part, I really want to change the sky. Okay, now for replacing the sky, I will show you a non-destructive way with having no fear to ruin everything else you've edited so far. This is the way. By holding Alt, Ctrl, Shift and letter E on your keyboard all together, you will create a merge layer of all the adjustments of the edits you've done so far. But the point is, uh, it is a copy and all the previous edits are still there. Now I want to replace my flat sky with a beautiful cloudy sky. At first I didn't plan to add a sky, but look at this. I'm really happy with the results and I'm really happy with the decision. Okay, now let's make uh, another adjustment to the photo and we're done. This tree here is supposed to be in the shadows. So I want to use my messy technique again and make it a little bit more darker. And please don't judge me. If you have the time, please take the time and make it look better than this. And finally, I'm using a color lookup adjustment find a great filter for my picture okay this is before and this is after if you like this video please hit subscribe button and i will be back with more videos like this have a great day